Hey guys, this is Lorenzo. I'm gonna use my new account today to talk about the rewards and the hey, there's a times three event, so don't miss that out and use up your keys there. And in this tournament, you can see that there is a ultra rare as the reward instead of the usual super rare. And you can look at the rewards here, and you can see the rare fighter you get Adam, and then Spitfire Sadi as the super rare, and then this new fighter the sensei or something uh, for the ultra rare and then as for I'm just gonna actually do a fight in the PvP and see how kind of uh, easy or I guess as long as you you place it right to uh, to be able to defeat the enemies or defeat your opponents so I have my master jade upgraded to uh, uh, uncommon plus and when I upgrade her, I you always have to max max her out. So yeah, it's it's actually a lot easier if you don't include the full party, and that's what I did. So you can see, even though there's like super rares that I'm fighting, and and they're they appear to be stronger, than me, but when you have a fully upgraded or upgraded properly, uncommon, then it's actually a breeze. So you can see I'm, I'm I'm just winning every match I see. Even this Dr. Siphon. Oh yeah, you can see that this this Dr. Siphon was not upgraded properly because it shouldn't be able to do that much damage to him if he was upgraded properly. And same with this uh, Merelda. And even these... Uh, I, I, I tend to like to upgrade the bears once I have a decent team of uncommons that are fully upgraded to uh, golden rare because you can progress through the story and once you get to the newer areas you can farm a lot faster so I wouldn't invest in throwing a lot of fighters in training towards the uh, uncommon I mean in towards the rare and super rares and ultra rares unless you got like a lot of uh, training boost banked up but still uh, your economy is probably not there yet so I'm gonna use my one key to see what I can get from this times 3 event and uh, I got a rare fighter that's dual element and that is Jess and that's her stats uh, and I'm gonna use up my 14 keys that I use and I saved up from the PvP and that's Citrine that's uh, Forge Master Harker there's Kai there's uh, Elise, she's the strongest uh, fire element uncommon fighter. And then there is, oh, there, this guy. This guy's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, most people, like for earth element, I would not kind of bother training unless it's Master Jade or Kaya. But Kaya, you can't really get her anymore. The one that I used in my previous videos for my training. And yep. I'm just gonna go and take some of those fighters. Okay, so here it is. So I got a Cory, and this is my fourth Cory. So I have four Cory, so I can do a four-way fusion to the golden super rare form. And then, wow, I saved 152 um, common keys from just doing PvP. So you can see that PvP is actually really nice to uh, allow you to gather a bunch of uh, fighters. So I'm just gonna let it play through and I'll just talk right after I finish collecting my guys.
So here's my final results. Uh, from all these fighters, I exceeded my limit, uh, which is around 150 based off my level. So I will have to start training them or else when I go to the PvE area, the story mode, then I won't be able to get any fighters from it. And I'll be showing you who to train right after this. And as for buildings, I'm just doing all the buildings in the story mode. I tend to build the water tower because they generate fairly fast. If you have enough money, I would invest and you play very often, I would invest in a bank. But most of the time, I would probably aim back to build a bunch of pubs. But um, as for now, like if you play very, very often and you don't, you can't afford a pub at the moment or a bank, then you could just build straight up parks everywhere and then just collect every minute. But that's too tedious for me, so that's why I didn't do that. If you watch my previous video, Dr. Siphon is one of the strongest lightning uncommon fighters. So that's why I'm training him first. If you're running low on coins or I mean resources to uh, upgrade them, there is a way to kind of get very similar results but cheaper. So what you do is you take another uncommon fighter or another fighter and you start training them and then you keep a bunch of them and then you fuse it back to your main guy. And that will save you a a lot of coins and get very similar results. So I'm going to demonstrate that with my Jade. So I have a lot of earth element fighters here. Minari, Citrine, some commons like Warlock and Jace. And, and what you and I don't really have that much resources. You can see I only have 90k. And 90k is not really that much when it comes to fusion. Oh, and training boost. Now, training boost, you just have to make sure you save it in the right time to use it because they give you a lot. So, okay, I'm, I'm putting all my fighters. I only put seven of them. Uh, and Minari is a weaker uncommon, so I'm just going to fuse her away. So now I'm going to put on choosing another Minari and then putting seven fighters in it. The reason why I'm putting 7, not 8, is because uh, even with 8 fighters, she still just gets to level 8, so I'm going to put 7 fighters into her. So I'm just going to do that for the a few other fighters, uh, a few more Minaris, and then putting more, put another 7, in, 7 common fighters in her, so she gets to level 8. So once I stack up a bunch of or a fair amount of number, then I can use her and put her into Master J. That way, it's cheaper to put that fighter into Master J than um, doing those fighters. If you do that, the cost of upgrading a Master J will go higher and higher. So now that I have most of the fighters sorted out, then I would put it into Master J. But I'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of the different element fighters. So, it's, I'm just going to speed this part up.
I realized I forgot to go to do the epic boss battle while his energy is full. So I'm just gonna go back and do the epic boss battle and then come back and do the training for Master Jade with these fighters that are already trained to level 8. Now I put all those Minari, Citrines, and that extra Master Jade that I've saved up and leveled up to level 8 and and you can see the cost to train her cost about 15k. If you do it individually like 7 at a time or 8 at a time on a Master Jade, it's actually, it gets more and more expensive. So doing it this way is definitely the most efficient, especially when you're low on resources. When you're when you're like my other account where I have like 50 million then it doesn't really matter honestly today we have Kristen's comment and he suggests that we should be able to transfer accounts without actually relying on greed to do the account transfer for us so that they could switch devices without any special need or I guess maybe like allowing two devices to play the game at the same time? I guess similar to how Clash of the Clans work, where you can have multiple devices mapped to the same account, but only one device to play at, at a time. Which is pretty convenient, so that you don't always have to use the same device. Like say for example, your phone is charging, and your game is mapped to your phone, but you want to play on your tablet. So that's, that's a nice suggestion. The second comment goes to Far Reshare, and his suggestion is being able to customize your fighter, such as their hair, their clothes, which will be pretty cool. I guess being able to swap their color or swap their clothes with another fighter would be pretty interesting. And that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you would like your comment to be featured on my next video, don't forget to uh, put a suggestion for the game or a tip for the rest of the players. And if you would like to see me make more of these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.